I'm here in my listing in Afton Oaks getting a stage today. I, I'm a big believer, you guys, in staging luxury properties. Marissa Sarola with the Lux Design Group yes. is the visionary behind everything you see here today. Yes. Talk about when you walk into a property, what you think about. So when I walk into a, a, a property, the first thing you want to do is create an emotional connection with the buyer. So within three seconds, if they don't see something that they fall in love with, they're going to start looking for things that they don't like. Okay. So that's why it's very important to have a focal point right when you walk in um, and to draw something into their eye to keep them going through the flow of the home. It just I, starts it off. I believe that a stage home sells faster. You yes. have statistics. Yes, 88% of homes sell faster um, when they're staged and for 20% more money. So it's a huge impact. Are you staging homes across the board in all price points? All price points from 300,000 up to 6 million. Uh, we stage in the area, outside of the area, in the woodlands. Uh, we mainly focus in the Galleria and Memorial areas, but we can go as far out to uh, Galveston. You're an interior designer, so you have that background. When you walk into a space, you know how it's going to make people feel. Correct. And I always say, appeal to their senses. Absolutely. You want to touch, feel, even taste, have the smell going on, have different layers of textures, um, and different varying heights as well. Um, so things that are far, high, low, just have that all around scope of balance. Um, symmetry is one of the most important things when... Symmetry? Yes. Symmetry creates balance, calmness, and it creates a sense of peace. And if you have symmetry within the home, everything else starts to make sense. Tell me what that looks like in this space. So for here, what we did was we wanted to create a linear line right when you walk in. Um, the first thing you see is you see the, the mantle right off the bat. Yeah. So having something kind of long and angular this way really accents the, the, the windows. Um, and then we wanted to offset it with two uh, flanking chairs right here. We wanted to open up the space so that way they could still walk through, but you know you can have a lot of entertaining uh, spaces as well. So we don't want to overcrowd it with furniture, but we want to leave it open so that you could still see yourself adding more things. Yeah. I always say that it's really hard to have vision sometimes when you step into an open box, open space. Staging is always a good idea, but sometimes the price point of the home doesn't make sense. Tell me when it doesn't. Uh, to do staging? Mm -hmm. uh, well, when it's priced to sell, you really don't need staging. Um, but most times people walk in and they can't visualize their furniture or uh, how they see themselves in the home. If there's two homes or two rooms that are identical and there's not a chandelier in one of them, they're not going to know which one's a living room and which one's not. So really staging it and kind of laying out the area for the potential home buyer is going to be a huge benefit and it really reduces the negatives that they're going to say when they walk in the home. I love it. You're staging this listing of mine here in Afton Oaks. We are ready to sell. Let's te go team go. Yes, we got it. <laughs> Thanks, Marissa. Thank you.